Hi, I wanted to talk to you about the uh, last painting I've done. This is about the fountain in downtown Madison, Indiana. Uh, if you watched my uh, previous videos, you know that I'm going to have a one-man show in Madison, Indiana from February 10th to March 9th at Joey G's. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my painting here. Uh, first of all, I wanted to tell you that this painting is all about uh, what you'd call atmospheric perspective. Now there are two types of perspective. One is linear perspective, like when you look down a road and the, the closer you are, the road is wider and then it gets narrower as you go further back, which gives a feeling of depth. But this is done with atmospheric perspective. And what's happened here to have the atmospheric perspective, which gives the feeling of depth, uh, there, are, there are various things. One thing is with atmospheric perspective, you have uh, the closer things being larger than things as you go further back. So I have here the fountain, which is pretty large. Then as you go further back, you have this house. Well, obviously, this is bigger on the canvas than this, so it gives a feeling that this is forward. We have this tree right here that's smaller than this one, which gives a feeling that this tree is closer than that one. So that's one way that atmospheric perspective works. Now, the other way is that with atmospheric perspective, the things that are closer have... Uh, brighter colors and values and as you go further back they tend to fade so right here we have this fountain and it's definite strong colors and so forth then you have this tree here and that's not quite as bright or strong in the colors or values as this but it is brighter and stronger than the colors in the house which is brighter and stronger than the colors in this tree back here. So what that does, the brighter and stronger colors tend to feel like they're coming closer to you. And uh, so that's kind of what's happened. So with, with those things happening, it looks like there's depth that you can go back into this painting. There are some things on here I'll tell you a little about. Uh, I've got water shooting out of these little places. Uh, I've just done that with just some white paint strokes. Here on the side of the house, you have shadow and light that's caused, uh, well, you've got a shadow and the light's coming through the trees, through the, the leaves and so forth. So you have the lighter part, which is just done with lighter paint and then a little darker paint to give that feeling. Now I've got a little truck here. Uh, I have some flowers and bushes and so forth here. So I'm going to do a little close-up so you can get an idea of how I actually painted these If things. you look at the house over there, and you see this truck there, but look on the side of the house. I've just put darker paint and some lighter paint to show those shadows and the light as it's coming through. Now you can kind of see how I've done the windows. And we kind of go up. Now I want you to notice this tree back here, the one that's further back. All I've done with that is I've just kind of splattered some green and yellow paint on the sky and then I put little lines which would represent the branches. So there's not a whole lot of structure, but because it's so far back with the atmospheric perspective, doing it that way, it gives that feeling. Now, on the other hand, if we look at the close-up tree here, you know that that's just done with laying on color. So you can see the different colors of red, orange, green, yellow, and I have little places where I have the blue of the sky showing through and then of course the branches. 
come on down you can see uh, the trunks of trees you can see that on the left side there's a shadow and then on the right side it's lighter because the lights coming from the right side you'll also notice that I have on the uh, stat there's a statue on the top and she's just done with uh, different colors light and dark I come back down and I talked about how I have the water coming out you see I just made some quick brush strokes to represent the water shooting out now down below I'll have flowers see there are two pink flowers and then in the background there I've got some color which just represents some uh, flowers or bushes in the background can you see them over there but when I come back up that's sort of what we're looking at kind of the same thing over here go up closer okay now we've got a kind of a little pool down at the bottom with reflections and you can kind of get an idea as to what's going on so that's the famous fountain in downtown Madison, Indiana. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at another one of my paintings. Um, this should give you a feeling of Madison, Indiana. If you have a chance, I hope to see you at my art opening in February. Thanks for watching.